it was something that really like planted a seed that I didn't realize at the time. So many businesses did it, but so many, including the one I was at, flat refused Just wouldn't because do they it. didn't want to get into politics. And yeah. I was like, yeah. I mean, I get it because we're in the Hoosier state and Hoosier hospitality got to be nice, especially females. <laughs> and but at the same time, what about business isn't political? Yeah. If I make a decision what my business hours are, if I'm open on a Sunday, that can be considered political. Like, sure. you know, we are we are we support the LGBTQIA community and things like that, and I don't feel like I should be quiet about that. To the Around the Southside podcast. I'm Terry Wagoner. I'm your host, and super excited about this episode, this interview, because we had the privilege of talking with Blythe Potter, uh, who is the founder of Bargersville Wellness, which is uh, a fantastic business that is downtown Bargersville. She's also someone who's just bringing about change in the community. I think calling her a force of nature. Not too strong of words to describe Blythe. She's fantastic. She is uh, just a wonderful person. She's doing a ton of great things in the community. And this is kind of a a bit of a wide-ranging interview because we talk about Bargersville Wellness and all the services they offer. We actually sit on the floor for this interview uh, because yoga is a part of what they do and breathing and things like that. Um, We go through a breathing exercise, which you're welcome to enjoy with us. It's called nostril breathing. Thing, which I had never heard of, but we tried it, uh, and we heard all about uh, be, what it's like being a woman-owned, veteran-owned veteran business. Uh, Blythe has a great story, and uh, and and then she's also running uh, running for office as well. She's running to be a part of the town council there in Bargersville, and uh, is meeting the people, talking with people, and she's on the ballot coming up this fall. She is fantastic, uh, and I love where her heart is and what she's all about for the South Side. So get excited. I think you're really going to enjoy this interview. And her precious daughter, Violet, uh, was in and out while we were having this conversation. So you may hear that we reference her uh, from time to time. But you're going to enjoy it. You're going to love getting to know Blythe more and check out everything they're doing at Bargersville Wellness. So that's enough ado. Without further ado, please enjoy this conversation with Blythe Potter. We are so thrilled to be at Bargersville Wellness. We are here with Blythe Potter. Blythe, thank you for having us. Thanks for being in here. the studio. By the way, Blythe Potter, one of the coolest names. Christian, do you agree? <laughs> like, I just really like that name. Yes, I love Blythe. Potter. I don't know if it's the Blythe or the Potter. Is that your is that your married name? Potter your, is my married name. What was your maiden name? Rogers. Rogers. Blythe mm-hmm. Rogers. That's good too. But yeah. Potter has a little uh, a little like. What is it? What is it? it I don't have? know. It's creative. It's a little like, creative I'm a energy to it. Yeah. 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 Clay, I don't know. Earthy. And I'm, I never read the Harry Potter books and stuff. I, I don't either. think the Potter. I don't think that's what's getting me. I just it's think not. it's it's a little sing songy, sort of, and I like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rolls off the tongue. So I'll take it. A, a quick mm-hmm. uh, elephant in the room is we are sitting uh, here at Bargersville Wellness. We are on yoga mats. We are on yoga bolsters because that's right. part of what they do here is yoga, and, and it's all about wellness and health and all that. And Christian, you suggested... <laughs> We're on brand. You suggested... Well, you suggested sitting on the floor right. doing uh, or in yoga or on yoga mats. You also said, what if we start with a guided something, <laughs> right? And Blythe is like, I'm game, yeah. right? So, so uh, all I'm going to do is just say Blythe, Let's do something. Okay. What should we do? All right. So, well, one of the things you said, like, well, what's, what's different between, like, Western yoga and, like, real yoga? Yeah. Usually it's a breathing technique. So if you have a teacher that's like, ooh, let's do uh, Nadi Shodana. Never heard that. No. See, precisely. Yeah. Nadi Show. So it's uh, Nadi, Nadi Shodana. Shodana. Yeah, okay. It's alternate nostril breathing. Oh. All right. This is one of my favorites. You told me about this, but I we have not have. done it. It okay. is fantastic. So this is really great. It's good if you feel nervous before you start a podcast oh, or a video perfect. or if you right. go live on something or record yourself uh, before bed if your like, mind is kind of spiraling. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's literally alternating which nostril you breathe in and out. So okay. Can I use my finger? You can. Well, yeah, you can use well, one. How my, else would you do it, Christian? Well, I don't well, know. No, I that is a good question. Do you have independent nostril I use control? I two fingers, but my business partner has to use two hands yeah. because she can't alternate. The way I do. Two hands. Yeah, five years into it, my partner still, yeah. But she I, totally I ping pong in her nostrils. I bet a yogi could alternate as well. Oh, yeah. For Without sure. hands-free alternate uh, nostrils. No, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Go just Trying to get nostrils. your nostrils to go in. No. I, that is a, a trick I do not know. Um, so you would take a deep breath with both nostrils. Okay. 
Plug your right nostril with your right thumb. Exhale left. When you're ready, you can inhale left. Plug your left nostril. Exhale right when you're ready. And you'll inhale same side. And exhale opposite. Yep. And generally, you want to end out of the left nostril because that's the heated or hot side of the body. Particularly good in summer when it's hot. <laughs> and then uh, after your next one out of your left side, you can breathe through both nostrils. Are you calmed, yeah, Christian? Calm. <laughs> yeah, I've never done that before. Very calm. Wow, that was great. Yeah, that's so. How so? How long would you normally do that? Like just what we did, or would you do um, it for a while? Well, myself, I usually do it for about five minutes. I'll when I'm wow. trying to get my daughter to bed, I'll put the breathing app on my watch uh -huh. for five minutes, and that's how I know to get up out of bed and leave her okay. and not fall asleep. <laughs> yes, right. Because <laughs> usually I'm not quite ready for bed when we're trying to get her down. Sure. Um, but in a class, it just it really depends on how the class goes and how I'm feeling. I'm, I'm yeah. kind of off the cuff with most of what I do in my life. Just and feel the even moment. my yoga classes. Feel the yeah. vibe. Yeah. If I'm feeling like I need to do it longer, I will. If not, I may even skip it. But yeah, yeah. sure. Boop. That's Five good minutes. stuff. That is good stuff. Like breathing is really a thing. It's like it's a really thing. not just like breathing to survive. And we all take way too shallow breaths and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So like getting into and learning about breath work, uh, I think is a great place to start for yeah. wellness, right? It is. It is because it's easy and it's cheap. Like yeah, it doesn't right? cost any money. You don't yes. have to go anywhere um, and you don't have to be able-bodied necessarily yeah. to do it. So. Yeah. So I wanted to come talk to you because I think, uh, you know, this is the Around the South Side podcast and you I, are doing some really great things uh, on the South Side. So I was like, well, let's just dive into all the things you do. One of the things you do is this place, Bargersville yeah. Wellness, right? So tell us, uh, tell us about this, about the story, how it came to be and all that. Uh, how candid would you like me to be? As so candid I'm as you like. pretty much no holds bar. Let's um, go. So I've been in this industry a little over 20 years, um, like I went to college like most people do after high school because that's mm -hmm. what, what I was, you do, what right? was expected of me and didn't, yeah. did not need to be there or want to be there. So I dropped out, actually got kicked out the second time and joined the military, okay. which is actually what I wanted to do yeah. after I graduated. Uh, came back from that, couldn't find a job, um, and then just kind of stumbled into a business in Greenwood that my stepmom had gone to and told me about. And the manager there, I'd gotten a facial from, she's like, hey, you need a job? And I was like, heck yeah, I need a job. Because yeah. I had no clientele. Yeah. Um, so nobody really wanted to hire me. And no one wanted a female bodyguard in the States, apparently. <laughs> uh, so no one wanted to hire me for security. Yeah. Um, and then, so I was there for about 14 years. And it kind of came to the point where I was seeing the writing on the wall where I was pretty much maxed as, at my yeah. growth there. Yep. And I, my business partner now had, had left that business and I said, Hey, I, I think it's, it's my time to go. I, and I don't necessarily want to do this on my own. I'd really like to still be with the salon. You want to do that? She's yeah. like, yeah, but I'm not leaving Bargersville. And I grew up here cause my yeah. dad lived here and I was like, um, do I want to come back? Why yeah. are we doing this? She's like, like, this is like the fastest growing city around. And I was yeah. like, okay. So I did some research and she was right. We had a spot and it just kind of all fell into place. And we opened in 2019. Yeah. You know, we all know right before just the pandemic. The shutdown. Yeah, no yep. one put a pandemic on our business plan. We yeah, didn't know right? we needed to. Right. Um, so yeah, and here we are. And here you we're are. We're making it, we're making it work. Making it happen. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right here, uh, downtown Barkersville, right in the heart of all the style, all the buildup, all the, the yeah. small businesses that are happening. It's uh, it's really exciting. That's cool. So some of the services you guys offer here. Let's, let's a little bit it. of everything. It, we've kind of transitioned into like a mixed use space for the wellness industry. We mm -hmm. have Reiki, we have um, lash extensions, facials, massages, obviously yoga. Sure. Uh, we've got three licensed barbers and we've got... I think total six cosmetologists. Yeah. So hairstylists, perms, things like that, color, balayage, you know, all the buzz terms for hair, we do it generally. So that the balayage was a word I'd never heard. And you know who told me first about that? Courtney? Producer Christian. Oh. No, it's producer <laughs> Christian. Yes. He was like, he was talking with a friend of mine just all about all the, and he knew all the hair words. I don't know how you knew all of them. I don't remember knowing balayage. I what promise I you did. I don't even remember because because the, there's, there's balayage and then there's another kind of similar... And I don't remember that word oh, either. Oh, is that the is coloring, right? Yeah. Highlights? Yeah. yeah, highlights. No, it wasn't highlights. It's like... Uh, Low lights? Wait, what did you say? Ombre. Ombre, oh, yes. Ombre. Oh, ombre, yeah. yes. It that's the other similar. one. That's the job, Courtney. Yes, that's true. I, I, uh, I know I own 50% of a salon, but I... Um, 
am not an expert. You're so not on it, that, you're I not think on it's that close, side but of it. I think it might also be a little different. I think you'd still do ombre without necessarily doing balayage. But if yeah. you say so, I don't know. Every time I come here, I hear new words. <laughs> I, I, I learn. I do it's, too. <laughs> you do. <laughs> every day. Every day is new. I That's like right. the innovation of combining yoga with barbershop. Yeah, yeah. It's not, that's right. Not two things you normally see on the same it sign. It isn't, but it like there is a place for it, right? Yes. Like, well, yeah, right here. Men need <laughs> self-care and yoga just yes. as much as females, and uh, it tends to be a, a female-based practice. Well, but but what, what, the way I think... I'm glad you said that, though. That's good. Well, Because if, if me and you go to a yoga, we're going to be the only two guys there. Possibly. Maybe. It really depends on where you go. Yeah. Other bigger studios, there's probably more men. That's true. Um, yeah. But, you know, it's like... It is like anything else or any other industry. You just you have to find who you're compatible with. It's, sure. It is like dating. I don't like to compare okay. it to that, but um, you know, sometimes you're compatible with people like as, as a stylist, and sometimes you aren't. Yeah, so. I I uh, I like yoga, Christian. So I would be one of the people when you arrived. I'd already be there. <laughs> That's right. Because I like yoga. With his mat ready and his with bolster. my mat ready and my bolster. Yeah. I told Christian that <laughs> this bolster. is a bolster. It's a bolster, not a pillow. Yeah. No, not a pillow. You can it's use it a as a pillow. You can. But it, it, is, but it, it is works a for that too. <laughs> but here's where I think there's the intersection of like hair care and self care. Is like, and you can attest to this, Christian. One of the best ways to build your confidence is when you get a fresh haircut. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's one. It's like a wellness move to feel better about yourself, to have more confidence, to all that. So I think like regular hair care helps you look your best, feel your best, all that stuff. And that, which is what you guys are all about. Is like, how do we feel our best and live our best lives? And so I think it's a Super natural fit. I like that. Yeah. I like that you. But guys it's also are about human that. touch. That's one thing. And what made it hard with the pandemic is we don't touch people. Yeah. Like even pre-pandemic, you maybe hug a few people, maybe shake a few hands. But outside of that, yeah. Like yeah. So you having someone massage your scalp, sure. Touch your neck, like you know, with our barbers, they do neck massages. Um, nice. So I mean, I think that's part of it too. Subconsciously, we're physically being touched and cared for, yeah. and not doing the caring. Yeah. So I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, so let's, we're kind of talking about self care, mm -hmm. right? You guys are all about self care. We did some breathing. Where, like, how, sh how do people start to even think about that? Whereas I know it's like now it's popular, it's kind of in vogue a little bit to talk more about self care. But for people that just don't know what it is or where to start, like, how do you even start down that journey? Really, I think self care is. From, in my opinion, it's starting one thing at a time. Okay. You know, yeah. a, a lot of times we have this misconception, particularly in the States, like, oh, I'm, I need to be healthy. So I'm going to, I'm going to drink more water today. I'm going to drink right. less coffee today. I'm going to cut out the, the cookies today. Yep. I'm, I'm going to sleep more out. today. I'm, I'm going to work out today out. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm going to prioritize. Well, the, I just added you do six that for things to two my days, list. Right. You, you can do it for maybe. two days and then you're like, it's never mind. Yeah. yeah. It's overwhelming. Yep. So, you know, for self-care, I suggest start with one thing for maybe a month, what? maybe two, depending on and what that is. And that, isn't that kind of a clever way to say, be in the moment, right? Yeah, well, be in the moment, but right. you can also, and that you know goes along with yoga, where you have that focus on that one thing for three to four weeks. They say it takes three weeks to build a, mm -hmm. a routine. Mm -hmm. I think that varies depending on who you are and what your lifestyle is. But um, yeah, just picking one thing five minutes a day. You, okay, so um, you say one thing five minutes a day. Is there is there a certain practice you would say this would be where I would start? I would start with this one thing. Do you do you find yourself giving that advice more often um, about a certain activity? Not necessarily. A lot of times, if I'm giving that sort of advice, it's usually like after a facial or a massage, like mm -hmm. you know where you just had an hour to yourself, but taking five minutes to disconnect from your phone yeah. or even a five minute nap. Like it doesn't yeah. seem like much, but that's five minutes where you've, you've shut down the lights are off or take a five minute bath yeah. or set an alarm to go to bed five minutes earlier. It really just depends on what that is. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Christian, the first time I was here, one of the things that Blythe told me to do that we talked about was eye exercises. Oh, yes. Oh, like, yeah. yes. No, I heard, awesome. I heard Paul McCartney around. talk about this. He really? doesn't, he he doesn't wear glasses. And he said he was talking to one of the yogas in India when he went in the 60s. And it was, nobody did it back then. Yeah. And he said the guy was like, look up, look down, look up. And he goes, yeah. I've done it every day my whole life and I don't wear glasses. Interesting. Wow. Hey, well. Because he's also vegetarian. He was yeah, early to the party on that. Yeah, I think he might actually be vegan. Might, well, now. But back then. Just vegetarian. It was in the 70s. It was yeah. you know, a very hippie thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I've been taught that that is good for vision necessarily, but it is good for the eye muscles. But again, like, you know, we, we tend to, we're right here when we look. Yeah, that's we true. We don't 
we're not we using the full range. We literally don't have worse with phones, by the way. Oh, so much yeah, worse. So the in. going up. And Even pre-phone sure. usage, yeah. we were bad about it. I remember I was in, when I was in Iraq, I was walking down this path to go get some food. And this high-ranking dude, who I had no idea who he was, like, legit stopped in his tracks and smelled a flower. I was like, <laughs> what's going on stop here? He's flowers. like, sometimes you just have to stop and smell the flowers. There and I was is. like, oh my God. Yeah. I never even noticed that bush. Although <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. my job to notice that bush. That's there, right. But still, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Wow. I didn't look, I didn't, yeah. Isn't so much of this like, how do we, how do we just keep bringing ourselves into the present moment, right? Like there's so much to be said because we live our lives in our heads and in the future so much. Mm-hmm. And when we, and we miss Everything that's happening in the present, yep. right? You miss your life you do. when you do that too much, right? You do. So how many, like a lot of these practices are just about like bringing my attention and noticing the world that's happening around me all the time. Yeah. And a lot of that, unfortunately or fortunately has to do with just putting your phone down or your computer, sure. whatever device is, is to, has your attention yeah. in the moment. I, uh, I do a thing now where I use a timer 25 minutes on and a five minute break. And the best part about that is uh, my my mind, my attention stays fresh for a lot longer of the day than if I just power through and don't take breaks. Yeah, you that's know? really smart. Yeah, it's a it's a move. It's a move for sure. Well, let's talk about um you. This business is woman owned. Mm-hmm. It is military owned. Mm-hmm. Um, t- that is that is super exciting. <laughs> Should we introduce our guest? <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually, usually I can distract her pretty well. No, it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, let She's, me hear what I you're going to say. It, yes, yeah, we, we can if, pause. We'll take a little there break. There is someone in the bathroom sure. right now, baby, but I'll take you in just a moment. So uh, I also want to talk about your community involvement. Mm-hmm. You're running for town council. I am, you got yep. the business. It's all involved in the community. So what, what do you want to talk about with that? Gosh. Well, first, so much. And, first and foremost... Anyone who's listening who has supported me, thank you. Aww. It is the probably one of the scariest things I've ever done in sure. my life. And I've done a lot of really dumb and scary things. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's really... Do you remember the cupcakes a few years, like maybe 10 years ago when there was the baker in Indiana who didn't want to make cupcakes yes. for the gay couple? Yes, I do. And a lot of businesses were putting, like, the stickers. I cannot remember, the, like, what they said, but... Like this business supports equality or something mm-hmm. to that something effect. like we welcome everyone. Or yeah, something. we yeah, yeah. So maybe was that a, was it. It was less, uh, a little less. Yeah, you had to kind of read through the lines to understand what it meant. You did, sure. But it was it was something that really, like, planted a seed that I didn't realize at the time. So many businesses did it, but so many, including the one I was at, flat refused Just wouldn't because do they it. didn't want to get into politics, and yeah. I was like. Yeah. I mean, I get it because we're in the Hoosier state and Hoosier hospitality got to be nice, especially females. <laughs> and but at the same time, what about business isn't political? Yeah. If I make a decision what my business hours are, if I'm open on a Sunday, that can be considered political. Like Sure. We are you know, we are we are we support the LGBTQIA community and things like that and I don't feel like I should be quiet about that. Yeah. Um and also now I'm 40, so I've just stopped, ca- you just stopped caring hearing. as much. Yes, yes. So it is a little scary to mix politics and business. Yeah. Um, but the way things are changing, I can't just complain about it anymore. Yeah. So I have to try to change things, even though it, what I'm doing is really non there's nonpartisan. Like, sure. It doesn't. Right. Yeah. The, the town council isn't is like I'm not making any state or federal laws. Yes. Right. Um, but there are some things I want changed and. Um, I'm pretty good at playing the role of a bull and making things happen if sure. I need to. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Which is great. And it takes so much courage, I think, because to, to be able to voice things that are maybe not supported by the community that's surrounding you or by the county that's surrounding mm-hmm. you or whatever. So I do think there are people like you and people like me that do want to see some change in these areas, but it takes a lot of courage to, to put yourself out there enough and say, mm-hmm. I'm willing to stand on these principles and I don't care if you're with me or not. Yeah. This is what I think is right. And I you know? Honestly, though, I think a lot of people are with us. Yes, I do too. I think they're afraid to say so because yes. of the traditional mind frame of Indiana. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's changing. And I think it's changing for the better. Yeah. And, you know, people disagree with me all the time. And I'm totally fine with that. My husband disagrees with me all the time. Sure. And he actually voted for me. So um, <laughs> sure. I think it's okay to disagree. But right. I also think it's okay that even though you may be Republican or Libertarian or not belonging to a party, and I may be running as a Democrat, that doesn't mean I think that everything Democrats do is right. Right, sure. I can support the president and respect him, but also disagree with some of the crap he's doing. Right, for sure. But I don't have to call myself, uh, I don't need to label myself yes. as such. So, yes. um, you know, I think, yeah, it's, it is scary, but I've 
canvassing has been a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Really? Yes. So it's, are you having good conversations? Yes. You feel like? Great conversations. Really? Okay. I've met people who, you know, who have similar opinions to me. I've yeah. met people who, you know, they've got Trump flags and Trump shirts on as I'm speaking to them, but yeah. they're treating me with just as much respect as they would anybody else. Yeah. And it's really, it's very encouraging. I think Because we don't see that a lot on social really where Anywhere, we get our right? news is yes. social media. Yes. Um, we don't see that a lot. You are about to lose your headphones, dude. <laughs> oh, it's I totally so fine. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. Well, I think, I think that's the interesting thing, right? Is that it's really easy to demonize someone who doesn't agree with me until we meet and we have a conversation. I say, yep. Oh, look, you're just living your life. We don't agree on everything, but you are a person and you do have value. And the fact that you can yep. talk face to face is when you first start to realize, um, okay, maybe I'm going to crack my mind a little bit yeah. from what I've always thought about this particular person or this group or this, whatever, you know? Yeah. So, you can have great opinion or great conversations with these people. Uh, did you follow any of the school board elections for Senator Grove last year? I did not. I did not. It no. was a. It was a. It was messy. It was messy. Yeah. Um, which at the time it was a little sad, but it, but also you have people voicing their opinions, which is good, right? Sure. And most of it's happening in chatter groups and this, that, and right. the other. Well, one of the men who was running for school board last year, um completely different opinions to me. Mm -hmm. He and I have had coffee a couple of times yeah. and just the most amazing conversations. He's very much considered to be on the conservative side, yeah. even though he has a lot of values that I agree with yeah. and that he agrees with me. Um, and we talked about maybe like, what would we love for the community? A community yeah. garden, more walking trails. I'm like, dude, yes. this we're is We're on the fantastic. same page, right? Yes. yes. Like I share this space with you. Yeah. We share these trails and these roads and these streets together. Yeah. Let's, Let's forget about what's happening politically and let's yeah. make this happen for our kids because yes. we both have kids. Oh, I love and it. And that is our legacy, right? Yeah, so for sure. It, so, it's been good. So tell me about that. What would you like to see then? What are some of the some of the things you're excited about uh, happening in Bargersville that you'd like to to work towards? Well, I I think it's important to say that the I'm running against three incumbents. Do you need me to? My need okay. Um, and I, I actually adore all three of them. Yeah. The current council is fantastic. This has nothing to do with them. Yeah. Um, I have some ideas I've tried to share and things I'd like to see implemented that I haven't gotten as much response or reaction to that I would like. So that's basically, it's kind of a do it or get off the pot situation sure, for me. Sure, sure. Um, and I am, I am the average person here in Barkersville. I am a, a, a parent Mm -hmm. I like to be physically active outside. I am yep. using the trails and the sidewalks. Yeah. Whereas a lot of times when decisions are made, whether it be a piece of equipment that I use for work or a sidewalk, people are looking at the plan and how much it costs to put it together. And that's how they're making the decision. Yeah. Not using it. Yes. Right. Right. Like, why would you make a walking trail that quite literally ends or a bike path that's less than a half mile long <laughs> on right. one stretch? So sure. it's a great idea. And in principle, on paper. Yes, but, but until you're actively function. using it. Yes. Yes. Right. So I think that's where I do have a little bit of a leg up is not only am I using these things, but I'm seeing it and I'm talking to people who are also using it. Yeah. Um, and I think we even, I think we can, I think we can do better. Yeah. We're focusing so much on what's happening on the big picture of the 2040 plan, which is an excellent plan. Mm -hmm. Anyone who was involved in that did a fantastic job, but we're thinking so macro that we forgot yeah. Hey, there's still people trying to walk to these parks we're yes. building with no sidewalks. Yes. We've right. cut off an entire community of these people in Bargersville to these new amenities. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's really what it boils down to. Yeah. That's 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 what's on your that's what's on your radar. I love yeah, that. I love it. Sidewalks are what got me to ruffle some feathers, basically. So. <laughs> hey, you never know. Like that's how it happens, yeah. you know, sometimes. So that that's how it goes. Well, let me ask you this. We'll kind of wrap up too, because you actually have to get back to actually being productive and working and not just talking <laughs> with us goofs. Hey, this is good. This is work. Well, so so listen, you have I feel like so you're someone who has uh, a lot of irons and a lot of fires. You're passionate about a lot of things. You're also someone who's very talented and very capable. Why have you, why are you applying your efforts in the ways that you are? Like why Bargersville Wellness and why Town Council and why why have you decided th these are the places where I'm going to make a difference? I for some reason my entire life I've always been an activist. Whether yeah. I've considered myself that or said that out loud or not or even understood what that meant. Um and when I believe in something, I am I'm all in. Yeah. And it, there's never just like, oh yeah, I'll like Right. I'll help with I'll that. I'll help no, a little. I, I'm yeah. either in or I'm out. Yeah. Um, and with a lot of things that are happening um, on the state and federal level, 
Um, you know, we have a two-year-old daughter. I've got two stepdaughters who are 19 and 16. And I need to be able to have a safe space for them to live sure. as well as us. And honestly, <laughs> we're kind of on this 10-year plan. If things don't start feeling safer and more possible for us to use what's around us, yeah. we're out of this country. Yeah, like, sure. I don't know if it's Canada. I don't know if it's Iceland or what, but I can't. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. Um, from an environmental standpoint and other things, like things really need to change. Sure. And that's you know one of the reasons I'm doing it. Yeah. I love my community. I love where we live. I love the growth that's happening. I want to stay here forever. I want yeah. to die here. Um, but I can't just complain about it and not try to change it before I jump ship. I love it. No, I <laughs> so, love it. I love that. And we need more people like you that are willing to speak up and willing to be a part of the solution with a lot of these things as well. So, so much going on. Where do you want people to find you on all the different things? <laughs> just go. Just tell the people uh, where, to, well, where to learn more. Bargersville Wellness will plug just about anything to me. Um, I do have a website, BlythePotter.com, which has like basically laid out. I am very public about my wish list and what I want changed. Um, and I think some of those things are already being checked off. Yeah. Which is kind of That's interesting great. to see. That's great. Um, but yeah, anywhere. Social media, Bargers Will Wellness will plug you to me. Yeah. Um, but also follow us and like us because, you know, the algorithm makes, makes more people want to suggest yeah. us. So. That's right. I love it. Blythe Potter, thank you so thank much. You. This was thanks so much fun. This super fun. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for uh, letting Violet be with me too. Absolutely. Um, she's going to, if she's destroyed your equipment, we'll replace it. <laughs> she's like all tangled up in the cords now. You know, she'll be our next producer, yeah. Christian. You've got an intern now. Right, it's going to be yeah, awesome. You have an I love intern. it. That's right. That's right. All right. We will see all of you next time on the Around the South Side podcast. Mm-hmm.